Hi, I welcome all of you in my fourth video of randomized complete block design. In this video, I will perform a post hoc test. To perform the post hoc test, please first make all of the possible combinations, just like 1 and 2 level, 1 and 3 level, 1 and 4, 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4. And then subtract the mean of level 1 minus level 2, that likewise 1 minus 3, 1 minus 4, then we will get the mean difference. You will get these results directly from the software. However, in order to perform during the assignment or during the exam, this is the way that I'm telling you for is for the manual calculations. After that, you will calculate the degree of freedom as we have only two levels, so degree of freedom will become one. This is the enough information for performing the LST test. However, in you, if you are performing the same test in the software, you will also get the, these probability values and you will uh, get the T test value, T statistic value for these respective values. After calculate the test statistic of LST, so formula is T alpha by 2, alpha is taken 0 0.05 and in A we have 4 levels, so it becomes 3, uh, B is 6, so 6 minus 1, 5. So in short, we will get... Uh, we have to we have to find the value of alpha uh, 0.025,15 in the table and from the t distribution table or we can say tabulated value for the t uh, for this one we got 2.131 and same is the case mse you will get this value from the ANOVA table b are the number of b is the number of blocks that are equal to 6 so upon solving i got lst value equal to 3.331 and now I will have to compare uh, all of the differences with this value. If our mean difference is less than the LST value, there is no difference among the two treatment levels. So we can say that mu1 is equal to mu2 or treatment level 1 mean is equal to treatment level 2 mean. Likewise, if we go further and we uh, think uh, search about for the second one, so we see that the difference, main difference between 1 and 3 is 3.90, however LST is 3.331. So difference is greater than LST value. The mean for mu1, mu1 is not equal to mu3. So this difference between the two levels, they have made the ANOVA significant. If we go further, so we can see that 7.05 is greater than 3.331 again mu1 is not equal to mu4 likewise we have to search for all of the possible combination 2.77 is less than so they are equal so the last two are remaining let's go also so 5.92 is greater than 3.33 uh, 2 and 4 are not equal to each other so the last one then 3.15 is less than 3.33. Again, mu3 is equal to mu4. While performing the ANOVA, we have to satisfy few assumptions for the ANOVA. And these assumptions can easily be satisfied using the software just like Minitab. So, when the first one assumption is that the residual should be normally distributed. We can, we can find it using the normal probability plot. So, we can see that all of the residuals, uh, there are you can see uh, closest in the proxy closest uh, to the central mean value line and no such outliers are there present the second one is that observation should be independent so when we uh, plot the predicted versus residual so we can see there are no uh, you can uh, you can see uh, patterns are find in this graph so all of the observations are found to be independent the third and the last assumption is equality of the variances. So we can see we have four different levels of extrusion pressure and the variation, how we can see the least uh, residual value is minus 3.57 and the maximum highest is 4.17. So you can see these, this highest and the lowest value and you can see that uh, for the level four, all of the, the variation is uh, less than as compared to level one. Uh, for the level 3, the variation is almost, you can say, uh, equal to level 1. However, the variation uh, associated with the level 2, it is uh, significantly less than uh, level 1. However, there are no such signs that all of the observations lie on one side of this uh, central line. Or you can say they, all of the values, they are lie uh, nearest to the central line. So no such huge uh, differences in the variances uh, are found. So we can say that variance are assumed to be equal. The way, the thing that I want to explain can you can see it uh, clearly at level 6. 
that all of the observation they are very close to each other if we uh, see this these of compare these observations with level 3 so there is a huge difference of variation occur between the two levels so our comments are that based upon this graph it is as it is confirmed that the model is adequate and it is fit for the analysis in the next topic i will discuss latent scale design in which we control two nascent factors thanks for watching the video kindly subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you have any question you can ask me those in the comment section bye